Welcome to part two of this tutorial, creating more How polished to draw characters convincing and flip, flip, flip characters. And now, in this part two, we're going to go ahead and add a, a layer on top of uh, our sketch layer. And we're going to go ahead and drop the opacity of the uh, first layer of the sketch layer down a little bit. So we can be able to see what we're drawing on the second layer. And now we're changing our tool from a, a pencil to a pen so we can be able to ink it. And as I promised, this is the time we're going to be able to use the shape. So the shape tool is out now, and we're going to go ahead and start to draw this guy out now to make our character a little bit more polished. So I'm going to start with the head. Oops, that's not what I intended. Uh, making sure I follow a little bit of my sketch there so I don't go off of it by much. So I'm going to go ahead now, this is where you can start to go ahead and put in your ink using that shape tool. Ooh, that's too wide. I kind of don't like that. I want to keep it a little bit more organic. So to keep that a little bit more organic, I'm going to go ahead and slide that out and take that shape out. And I'm going to bring the ruler still over here where I have my initial sketch line squeeze it in a little bit so you can go ahead and adjust it just like you would do with the french curves and bring it in a little bit more squish it in a little bit more and adjust it and now i can draw this line on this side i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the other side uh, that should be good and join it and now if I move this out of the way you can see that my character has a little bit more smooth line even though we don't have smoothing in uh, flipper clip so I'm gonna go ahead and bring out my rule my circle again ruler sphere whatever you want to call it oops that's actually the eraser I want the pen and I'm gonna go ahead and draw my ears in. Remember, for me, most of my characters are kind of organic, so I don't want them to have the same kind of mirrored look. So this way, you can have, you can preserve the original sketch, but just give it a little bit of smoothing. And go on this other side, and draw the ear in. And that's looking, starting to look really good. Bring the eraser out. Tap on that a little bit. And let's make this bottom line a little bit bigger. To add a little bit of dynamic to it. The inner ones, I'm just going to draw them by hand. And that looks cute as well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring the ruler out again, or the guides, or whatever you wanna call it. It's this tool right here. Let me actually take that out. It's that tool right there. That tool right there is the ruler or the guide or whatever you wanna call it that I'm using to smooth out my character a little bit and give him some of that um, Adobe look give him a little bit of uh, Adobe Illustrator look even though you created him in Flipper Clip you should never underestimate the power of Flipper Clip it's a very, very powerful tool. And now you can see here, I'm not concentrating on only one. I'm jumping from one side to the other, just like you would naturally draw and make it disappear for a bit. Because now these ones, I want them to be a little bit more organic because it's fingers, they're wiggly. And that part looks good. I'm gonna go over here to this one as well. 
that looks pretty good so it's going to be playing the guitar in this since i have to do this while i actually talk to you guys um i'm not i'm not really um concentrating very much but um instead i'm just whipping it out just to show you guys how you could use these tools to achieve kind of uh a standard look that will make your characters look three billion times better than if they were all some all wholesomely drawn by hand especially when it comes to this inking phase so I'm gonna cut that over there and I'm gonna kind of mirror it on this side a little bit And squish it in a little bit so it's a bunch or a whole lot of adjusting and tweaking and flipping as well so that is going to get lost and let me actually go ahead and ink that in or black leave a little bit of a highlight in there so that looks good I'm going to go ahead and join this on his elbow where his hand folds and bring the ruler out again go for this line ruler again now you get the gist of uh, what I'm trying to create here guys At the end, you'll see how our results will look awesome. Sometimes people even will ask you what program you use to draw your characters before you actually uh, imported them in Flipper Clip because they can't wrap their heads around these smooth lines being drawn in Flipper Clip. Let me go ahead and give him that one toe. He's kind of like a sloth cat. There's only one toe. And an organic line like this one on the bottom. I'm just gonna use freehand. And that's it guys. That's how you do it. I have this in here that is more organic quickly draw that in there and actually let me give him some of these eyebrows eyebrows and now I'm going to go ahead and ink in the guitar. So, for that one, those are the most vivid lines. I'm going to go ahead and bring out our tool again. Make sure it's coinciding with my sketch. And bring it in. Go up here and connect that one. Making sure I'm doing perfect connections there. There we go, that's not very bad. Uh, let it disappear a little bit. So if you want to get rid of the uh, shape tool, you just have to go back and tap the shape icon in the top right corner. That way you'll get rid of the tool shape and then to bring it back, still do the same thing. It's as simple as that. Flipper clip makes things easy without a lot of complication. Uh, cut this in a little bit. Now I can bring it like this. And perfecto. And bring that over. Looks great. 
right there. So the guitar is starting to come out good as well. I'm going for this one. From this side. Connect it to the hand and connect it to the stick of the guitar here. I went too much over there, but no worries, I'll delete that in a bit. So I'm gonna bring my eraser up and delete this side for a little bit. I don't want it to be seen in there. And bring my inker, polish that a little bit. Yeah, now that's starting to look really good. I like it. Let me go ahead and bring this out again and draw his tail. Finish it off here. With a little bit of a polish. Yeah, that looks good. And I'm gonna close this by hand. So it doesn't look so mechanical. Now we're gonna bring the straight edge to draw the strings of the guitar. Strings of the guitar. In. One. I'm gonna give him about three strings to. Actually, I'll give him, I think, four strings. It looks good when it's kind of thick. Bring it down a little bit more. Now I'm gonna factor in a little bit of perspective there. And make it tilt a little bit. And there we go. So I'm gonna get rid of that tool again one more time. Actually, you know what is interesting? I should add one more of these. I literally have no idea how many strings are supposed to be on a guitar. I'm not a musician. I'm a visual artist. Not a musical artist. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw this curve in here. Uh, just as I said, everything you have, you wanna make it polished a little bit, so. I'll bring out my Sacco tool for pretty much everything that is circular or circular ish. And I'm gonna draw this complete. And I'll get rid of that. Um, I actually will be able to cut this in. I want black or grayish color that. Um, I'll skip one so I can show the strings are going through. Uh, that's not gonna work. Uh, let me go for this one. No, let me go for this one and I'll go for this one. So I can see the strings going through that little bit of a box. Um, these small ones here I'm just gonna draw by hand. Uh, what's going on there? I have the filling tool I need my pen back so these ones I'm just gonna draw by hand because they're kind of pretty small I can pull those off I'm gonna put three on each side and now still bring out my ruler to draw these edges of the head of it on the guitar Yeah, that looks pretty awesome. And I'll bring this edge back over here. And bring this edge back over here. One side of this head of the guitar is kind of larger, but I don't care about that. Most of animation drawing is actually impression just for people to know exactly what you're trying to put across it's not supposed to be that perfect so these I'm going to draw them by hand the knobs here to adjust the strength 
I think these are the ones actually they use to adjust the strength of their strings on the guitar or the tightness I should say I'll go ahead and complete that add a little bit of thickness on this side to give it a little bit of dimension shade it in black make this a little bit round topped so all those things you have to think about when you're drawing adding a little bit of dynamic before we even add color to it and we're almost there guys so I'm gonna bring this line again to draw this little bit of a platform he's sitting on I don't know why I thought that was a good idea but I kind of actually like it mm, a little bit of a platform he's sitting on that's not good I'm going to try to follow my sketch as much as possible. And bring it closer. Oops. Oh. There we go. And replicate that kind of thumb line down here. The thing with this tool is it doesn't matter where the tool is if you have the tool on board you'll be able to draw that shape everywhere or anywhere on the canvas so you can see our tool we could put it over here we'll be able to draw a line here you see what i mean so it doesn't matter where the tool is on the screen oops three fingers double tap to re redo and I'm going to draw the whiskers here. Still, I'm going to use that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and reduce the size of my brush to probably want to make them thin and stringy coming out of his lip. So I'm going to draw three on each side. I'm going to him very whisky. Whiskery, whiskey, whatever. And draw three on this side as well uh, tilt that a little bit and make it come up and I think that's all for the uh, ships that I want um, that's all for the ships that I want to be straight I'm just gonna include these details in here a little bit of a shadow and there you go guys you have it you have the ink phase as well of this video in the first video we did just a sketch in the second video we have done the inking phase so if I can go ahead, if I can go ahead and um, I'm gonna go. No, let me not include so many details. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the uh, visuals for the uh, sketch. And when that happens, then you should be able to actually see. Um, you should be able to actually see the uh, ink layer a little bit better. Let me finish up with these tiny, tiny details here. Mm, let me see what else, what else is good. Let me make this line a little bit thicker on the handle here. So I'm going to make the outer line a little bit thicker. And all the other lines just to give this part of the guitar a little bit more dimension so that works perfect and there you go guys so you got the inking phase all done as well if you did not watch the first video I suggest you go back and watch it so you can see how we create uh, the sketch from scratch now in the next video we're going to be uh, adding a little bit of color in there just to show you guys
uh, a little bit it's not needed with this but in the color phase we're gonna use a little bit of highlights and shades in order to make him a little bit more 3d-ish and not as flat as he is here it's just like a coloring page but you get the idea uh, of whipping out a character like that all right thank you for watching don't miss again the next video that is going to be actually showing us how to color in a little bit